So by now you know what is an estimate. You know about situations where you use estimates, how they help us, how they are sometimes better than precise numbers. But the point of learning estimation is so that you use it in your life is that you start using estimates, is you start estimating yourself. It's a skill. Let's look at two quick examples of where it helps you in your day-to-day -day life. And yeah, let's first look at the examples. You've gone to the market and you want to buy six writing pads. Now let's say this costs 248 rupees. And you see another one with the same number of pages and you like this one too. And this is, let's say, 39 rupees. Now immediately you start thinking, okay, what is the price per one pad or the price per of a single pad in this set of six? Whether should you buy six of these or six of these which come in a set or this is available loose so whether you should buy six of them together. That's very simple. You probably think, okay, let me do 248 divide by six and you want to do that long division. But wait one minute. You know that six into 40 is 240. So might as well, you can just estimate, use this estimate and you know that the price of one of this writing pad would be around 40 rupees. You've lowered this to, for, to, for, to 240, therefore this per unit price is also on the lower side and any which way is the price of this writing pad is 39, so you know that this has to be cheaper because the price, exact price of a single pad in this set is definitely higher than 40 rupees. And this is anyways 39. So you don't need to do the exact division here. You don't need to get the exact portion. It's very simple. Just, just keep it at 40 rupees. You know this is cheaper. Go ahead with it. As simple as that. Another example would be uh, you, you find this. You shopped. And now the shopkeeper is handing over the bill to you. And you know that you bought 28 of these color pencils for 6 rupees each. 12 of these color pens for 18 rupees and 32 of these pens for 11 rupees. Now the shopkeeper is going to hand over the bill to you and it's always good to check your bills whether you're in a restaurant, whether you're in a market or a grocery store or a stationery shop and you should quickly check the total. Keep that as a habit. Now, just, just look at it. You don't need to do the exact calculation. Just keep estimates and get a rough answer. So let's say if the shopkeeper hands over a bill of 736 rupees and you're actually wondering is that correct? So let's say what you would do. Um, let's say make this 30 into 6 so that would be 180 which is the quick estimate. This would be let's say 12 into 20. 20 is close to 18. Just use estimates to get a rough idea and this would be around 240. And this, let's say, is 32 into 11. Just keep it simple. 32 into 10. It's close. So this would be 320. Now, the total of this would be 740. Yes, the shopkeeper gave you 736. It's close enough. So you know that whatever the shopkeeper is given is actually pretty close to the estimate so that you know that it should be correct. So the next time you go to a shop, Next time when the bill is going to come up, start calculating. Use estimates, reach a rough estimate, a reasonable estimate and check. You also use this checking in your division and multiplication. Anytime you, let's say, are going to multiply. Now, let's say you're going to do 78 into 95. Whatever be the answer, you must know that this should be 80, close to 80 into 100, which should be close to 8,000. So estimates also help you check that the precise answer that you've got is not way too off or way too far from the estimate because you know that the estimate is actually correct.